happy krishna ashtami to all my viewers today we are making ashtami undo to make this undo we need lai 2 cups or it's also called puffed paddy add 2 cups of puffed paddy to a mixer jar and grind it into a coarse powder without adding any water transfer this to a big bowl the mixture is slightly coarse in texture heat a pan over lowest setting and to this add 1 tablespoon black sesame seeds and dry roast for 2 to 3 minutes or until you see sesame seeds starting to pop up. Transfer this to a bowl. To the same pan add 2 tablespoon peanuts and dry roast on low heat for 4 to 5 minutes or until you see some dark spots appearing on the peanuts. Transfer them to a bowl and when they are cool enough, remove the peel and slightly crush them. To the bowl, add crushed cashew nuts 1 tablespoon, cardamom powder 1 teaspoon, roasted sesame, also add crushed peanuts. Make sure the peanuts are not crushed into fine powder, there should be some chunky pieces in there. Give it a good mix and keep aside. Heat a pan over medium low heat, to this add 1 4th cup water and 3 4th cup jaggery, you can use any jaggery that you have, I have used natural organic jaggery, you can even use jaggery powder, that should be fine. Keeping the flame over medium low heat, cook the jaggery for around 8 minutes or so and it will start turning into a frothy mixture. And the color also will start getting darker and darker at this point turn the heat to lowest setting possible to check if it's done take some portion of the jaggery between your fingers and try to get that one string consistency as you can see the string holds its shape we'll do the second test take a bowl of water and put some jaggery syrup right in the middle it should settle down we should be able to roll the jaggery into a ball like so that means our jaggery is ready to go switch off the heat and directly pour it over the puffed paddy mixture to this add two tablespoon ghee and mix well use a spoon to mix because the jaggery syrup is very hot at the moment you might burn your hands do not keep this mixture for too long otherwise it will be hard to roll it into lattus while it is still warm we will quickly make the lattus apply some water to your hands take a ball sized portion and gently roll it into a round shape the stickiness in the jaggery will hold all the ingredients together. There you go, your laddu is ready. Let's take a closer look again. Take a ball sized portion and roll it like so. Make all the laddus in the similar way. With this measurement you should be able to make 10 to 11 laddus. Please try this recipe and let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.